Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back again for yet another news update for you. We got a ton of new McFarlane Toys figures to talk about. Little something of everything, right? From comic books to animated series, probably find something here that you like. Before we jump right into it, as always, I will have affiliate links down in the description below, or they will actually be on the screen somewhere. So, in advance, thank you so much for using my links. They will help my channel to grow. Also, bonus points if you know where this cover hails from, right? So, we're going to jump right into it. First and foremost, this was actually revealed a few days ago. All of these have been revealed prior around San Diego Comic-Con, but this is from the new comic book series, Dark Knights of Steel. And essentially, it's medieval Batman, right? There's a lot more to the story, trust me on that. Can't say that it's my fave, but I guess it makes for some interesting character designs. Again, as everyone kind of says, Batman lends himself so well to... Every design, every iteration, you can have fun with it, right? It just kind of works. And as a knight of the round table, you can kind of say, it totally works. Does this action figure translate well? I would say it looks very plasticky, right? It doesn't have that detail, that shading, the little oomph to really bring it to life. You know what I mean? He does come with a sword. The sword looks to be nicely painted. This is one of those where we've seen this type of figure before and how they do a lot of plastic. I'm sure once in hand you'll get to see it a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more detail will come forward with the sculpt utilizing said shading. But as it is right now, this one, not really for me. I tried with the comic book series. It was just okay, right? It's, it's an Elseworlds. Just take it like that. But uh, in either sense, yes, here he is all packaged up. So if you want him... You can pre-order him now. Now, this figure is pretty cool. I think that uh, it made for some interesting designs, if anything, and I really did like the Rookie Robot. But this is from Capullo's run of Super Heavy. This is Jim Gordon as Batman. This is utilizing that buck body again where I'm not really a fan of... Like, there's certain aspects, like, from the top parts, the, the, the whole crotch pocket area not really doing it for me and then the legs are kind of all wrong because it has those straps and weirdness to it right now they have included the little gun blaster even though now it's a projectile you know what i mean it's just kind of like uh, uh, this is it's got to change at some point we need to go back to getting uh, dc comics characters with actual weapons it just looks too childish right just doesn't work you do get a couple extra heads in the box so you get the batman head and you get the jim gordon head this one again i have the mattel version i even have the mattel rookie robot which is excellent they did a fantastic job no i wouldn't be too surprised if at some point we see the rookie robot i think that would make for a a great mega figure to be honest with you here's everything that he comes with multiple hands and i want you to keep that in mind right we have seen at the 20 dollars price point multiple figures now coming with multiple hands just put that in the brain we're gonna be talking about that in just a few but this one again much like the knight batman it's just yeah it, it doesn't do much for me i feel like uh, this one is largely a pass as well for those of you out there you might dig it but here he is all packaged up so if you want a jim gordon is batman from the comic book storyline super heavy with the rookie robot and all that the chappy robot you can go the grab this figure now this is a, a, a line right that people are gonna go why do they make these and i was i'm in that same sort of camp but i i get why they make these the one is to have product on the shelf two uh, yeah, it's to kind of fund characters like Catman. So always remember that. If you get a wackadoo character, you're like, I can't believe they made this. Uh, you can thank the Jokerized line, right? All action figure companies do it, all right? Just keep that in mind. But why so serious, you ask? Well, <laughs> the Scarecrow is spray painted with that. Again, these are kind of like, I, I, I initially saw this and I go, this is like the Star Wars Christmas figures, right? In so many ways. So, this is a Target exclusive. All the Jokerized stuff is Target exclusive for the Dark Knight Returns, right? So, you have the uh, the Scarecrow looking all 
interesting. That's one thing I will say about these. They're not not interesting, right? You can't uh, you can't rag on them for that in any way, shape, or form. It's just they're like, eh, there you go. I hope uh, hope someone out there likes them, and they do, and they usually sell out, which is totally crazy. So you got green everywhere. You why so serious? Purple pants. Here's everything that the Scarecrow comes with. So again, you get a couple extra hands. This is at the $25 mark because it includes the collect build figure, right? So here he is, all packaged up. You got the ha ha ha's. It's a gold label, Target gold label, all that jazz. We're also getting the Harvey Dent Two-Face, which again is is interesting, right? It's interesting to see a, a Joker face because you got that weird Batman, right, with the Joker face. Now you got Two-Face with the Joker face. Take a shot every time I say face. A purple suit, green, green hair. Interesting, right? It's just kind of like, yeah, there, there he is. Bane, Bane becomes Jokerized, right? So you get the body with that one. Not much in the box with this one, if I'm being honest with you. This one seems a little bit lackluster. At least extra hands, something like that. But uh, yeah, there's not much in the box. But again, if you want either of these, uh, you can grab them now. Now. We talked about this about a month or two ago, and I saw the most of the stuff, you know, it was on display at San Diego Comic-Con, McFarland Toys had a uh, little party. We were talking about the collector line and such, and I said, you know, you gotta read the comments. People are not stoked at the price point, and then the excessive reuse, and I think, one, here, they listen, they go, okay, no, wait for wave two, right? I think wave two is going to uh, fix that. I think that wave two, fixes the character selection but again at the $30 price point there is nothing in the box to suggest that these are a collector line right because as I pointed out with the hands as you'll soon see with Firestorm this is the same amount of stuff you get at the $20 mark and no I don't count the collector card the collector card trading card stand has just become a thing of contention right and at this point you have Sinestro in his yellow Sinestro core outfit. And I think that all three of these figures, let's just get this out of the way, they look awesome. And I'm so glad of the character selection itself. They nailed these designs. These are epic. Don't get me wrong. But these are $20 figures with a collector card stand. Now, Sinestro comes with this very cool yellow light construct, right? It looks like little... What is those Bioroy, something like Metroid look at things that are coming out and they're going after you and that looks cool, right? They look like they're all on little chains and such. I think the yellows look great on Sinestro. The pinks of his skin comes with the yellow lantern. The trading card stand is gotta go. It, it, it's, it adds nothing to the box. This is the time where extra hands and an extra head portrait really need to play a part. Because there's nothing going on for 30 bucks. This is a $20 figure because that's what they've shown us, right? You could put a bunch of stuff in the box for 20. This has nothing to do. This doesn't even seem like it has any more paint than any other figure. So I'm gonna tell you right now, you could pre-order these, you could grab these all you want, but I'm literally telling you, this is the time where you need to say, no, 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 no. This is this is not working at 30. You need to put more in the box at 30. This is 20. So I will wait. For the $20 price point. The artwork on the box, everything on the box is fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. But it's not a $30 figure. Likewise with Hawkman. And Hawkman looks so freaking good. That looks good. Except for the fact that, yes, it does seem that he has reuse of the wings. Zero hour, 90s Hawkman, total justice. This rocks. This looks absolutely amazing. Nice big wingspan. Great. Nice look of paint every which way. Nothing in the box. Nothing in the box to really add to this figure. And again, the $30 price point, mm -mm. This, is, uh, this is the $20 figure with a collector card stand. Now, he does come with his Spike Mace Ball. That's cool. But again, it's like a whole, like you see this, right? And you go, oh, there's, there's so much in the box. Look, at you got the wings. It, the wings go on the figure, right? <laughs> and you got the collector card. Oh, man, look how much space that takes up. No, 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 no. No, it's a $20 figure. That's all it is. So, gotta tell you, again, looks amazing. Sinestro looks amazing. Yeah, bang up job, and I love the character selection, but not the $30 price points. That's all I'm gonna say. Now, this one in particular, 
I'm going to be honest, out of the three of the new Wave 2 Collector Edition, right, we have Firestorm. Firestorm looks freaking rad. If this comes out looking every bit as awesome as this does when you have them in hand, they nailed it. They did a fantastic job on Firestorm. And I'll be honest with you, out of the three of these, this is the closest you're going to get to being like, okay, I guess that makes sense for 30 bucks. Because if you see what he has, he has the figure... Just trading card stand and trading card thing and everything else. And then he has a bunch of extra hands, which is awesome. And then he has hands with these really cool molded fire effects. But then again, you just showed us that the Jim Gordon Batman has all those extra hands for the $20 price point. So, there you go. Now, I get it for the most part. Yeah, they look all to be less reuse, which is a plus. New sculpts, which is always great with us, especially with McFarlane. We got spoiled for a long time. But again, this maybe out of all of them is the $30 price point one more in terms of that. Maybe an extra head portrait or two. The trading card stand is a no-go. So out of all three of these, Firestorm is my favorite, followed by Hawkman, followed by Sinestro Core. Excellent, excellent lineup. Awesome to see these figures, especially in that 90s vein, right, with Hawkman. But uh, again, pre-order at your own leisure, I will just say. Now, over on the Target exclusive side of things, we have the return of DC Direct's Batman the Animated Series. And I'm very happy to say that uh, I did pass on this line way back when. Didn't get any of them. I have a few now, here and there. But I'm really happy that these are coming back, especially in the way that they are coming back, right? With a build-a-figure aspect, that's pretty cool. But for the time being, just as a heads up, these will be Target exclusive. Until further notice, Target will be the only place that you can get these new reissues, so to speak, right? Of the DC Direct, now with McFarlane Toys, Batman the Animated Series line. So first and foremost, they are reissuing the bat cycle now the prior one was a lot more spot on they've added some blue to it i can't say right because being the stickler that i am you look at it and you go eh. it kind of in all honesty looks like they've kennerfied it and to me that's when i go like well that's an interesting way to look at it right if you already have this because if you've been collecting the old batman the animated series line from dc direct this might be a great way to get a new bat cycle, but more of a toyetic one. So I don't really mind it in that sense, but I'm still that stickler. I'm like, eh, it's, the color's a little bit off. Now, this time around, it comes with a stand. It does say it has a quote-unquote smoke effect on the box, but it's more of a light-up feature, and you can hook it into the stand. It comes with the helmeted Batman, so if you get the new Batman, you can swap the heads and have him nice, safe, and sound with a helmet on when he's going after Man Bats or whatever. And I like the trading card, right? That harkens back to the old Topps trading cards, which I have that, the first Batman the Animated Series cards. Those were awesome, right? So this does look pretty darn cool, I have to say. Like, I, at first, but then, you know what? The box sold me. <laughs> That's awesome because that is the Kenner old school boxes right there so they brought that back nice little nostalgic trip like i said smoke effect meaning it lights up it hooks in it looks like he's kind of screeching his tires a little bit right awesome just looks fantastic as many bat cycles as mcfarland has done it's nice to have a batman the animated series reissue right but the box the way it looks that old school nostalgia Pretty good job on this one. This one is pretty cool. Now, of course, you need a Batman to put on that Bat Cycle. And this is where I'm honestly going to tell you that I'm glad I have the old DC Direct one. <laughs> because this is really not doing it. I do not think that the cell shading looks good at all. In fact, I'm, if I'm being honest, I think it looks pretty bad. Uh, it's a real bummer to say that. It just doesn't look good. Now, it might look better in hand, of course. But there's lots of swirlies and whirlies. And it, it's like kind of all like you threw the kitchen sink at it. Like, oh, this might work. And this will work. And this is Batman. No. Mm -mm, doesn't really work. Now, he does come with a battering. A ton of extra hands. You've got the bat grapnel. And if you'll notice, he comes with a pair of arms. 
because yes, unfortunately, if you don't like this Batman, but you like the Build-A-Figure, which I do, <laughs> well, they got you in that sense. More on the Build-A-Figure in just a few. Now, they are doing Robin, the boy wonder Dick Grayson, right? And this is another one where I don't have this, so I was really stoked. I'm like, cool, this is my chance to get him. What's missing here, everyone? Everyone on three, one, two, yellow, right? Yellow on the underside of the cape. And unfortunately, pictures don't lie, there won't be any yellow on the underside of the cape, which is a huge bummer because that's the epitome of Dick Grayson's Robin, right? It's that 90s look. It had the yellow on the underside of the cape. The cell shading, I think, fares a little bit better this time around. It's not as angular, weird, just sheer weirdness as the Batman, the animated series, Batman. Comes with a ton of accessories, which is great to see, all of which we have seen before with prior releases of Robin. And you get a pair of the legs and the underpants <laughs> for the Build-A-Figure, if you haven't guessed it yet, right? This one is going to be epic once we finally get to that. Mr. Freeze makes his reanimated debut and uh, I think that this this cell shading looks pretty tremendous I actually really like the way that this came out so this despite like Batman kind of being at the bottom Robin being like okay but you forgot the yellow Mr. Freeze looks fantastic so out of the three so far yeah he looks pretty darn cool comes with the ice blaster gun they really did a great job on this one, I have to say, I wish that they would have applied this. Like, they really did the cell shading perfectly on this one. I think that it really brings forth the whole icy nature of uh, Mr. Freeze. Would have put a little white speckleture, right? It's like the animated series, remember the commentary on that? Where some guy went through and just fogged up the dome. Every single cell. And it looked great when he did it. So, pretty cool. I like Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze comes with a ton of extra hands, a freeze gun, and, of course, uh, a ketchup and mustard barrel, right? This is going to be awesome. Now, the fourth figure of the four-figure waves is, of course, Jonathan Crane, the Scarecrow. And the Scarecrow looks awesome. This, out of the original design to the new Batman Adventures, this one's right in the middle. And over time, this has now become my favorite design. I really used to like the new Batman Adventures designs and everything, and I still like them. But as I've gotten older, I'm like, you know what? You can't beat Batman the Animated Series. It's got such a classic nature to it, even though I get it, right? I'm a huge fan of that show and everything in between. But I really like this head portrait. Also, for Batman Adventures, right? This was a design, and that was a great storyline. It was the first two-parter or issues four and five Man, I'm really excited. And they really didn't go too far on the cell shading again. I think that it has a proper amount. So again, if you miss this character, it really doesn't put too much of a detriment now. I think that uh, he fares pretty much the best next to Mr. Freeze in terms of what they did with the cell shading. So I think the head portraits look great. I like the unmasked Jonathan Crane. It looks awesome. And then, of course, you get to see everything that the Scarecrow comes with. The sight, the extra hands, the extra head portraits. And... The Builder Figure top piece, yeah, for the Condiment King. How freaking rad is that? From the episode, make him laugh, the Condiment King makes his animated series debut. So while we have seen all four of the other figures released through DC Direct, this one is the official new McFarlane Toys offering. And he's not really a villain, but he was technically because of help from the Mad Hatter. Well, Joker stole it, but you get the idea. That's awesome. So hopefully we get the other two comedians, right? Pack Rats, what was it, Mighty Mom, something like that. Joker, only you would ruin three lives for a worthless piece of tin, right? So very cool. And like I said, all links if you need them down in the description below. And that will wrap it up. That nice long video. Lots of product to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if I don't talk with you, have a fantastic weekend. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, there's just lots of McFarlane toys on the way. From Batman to Batman to Batman and Batman. And when they do, let me know what you're Batman. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.